you don't need to style your page exactly the way I did. In fact, I strongly prefer that you do your own styling, but there's some things here that you need to include. I want to see examples of a link, of paragraph text, of headings one through four. And I want to see color swatches. You can do them as circles, you can do them straight up and down, but I want to see the different colors you're going to apply to your site. Let's take a look at how I did this code. So you'll notice that I have a class named Splash with different IDs, with the color names. That's because the divs, which are right here, that's these individual divs, have the same dimension spacing. They're all the same except for the color. So I overrode the color using the ID. So if you look at the styles.css, you'll see that I have a splash, which shows you the width of 15%, so that will resize as my page resizes. And then I have a height, a margin, and that they're being displayed in an inline block to get them to line up nicely. Then my IDs only have background colors. So the IDs are setting the colors so that each of the colors are different. You need to do something like that. Your settings can be different as far as how you show them. You can show them in circles, you can do them straight up and down, you can do stripes. But in some way you want to indicate the colors that you're going to use for your color palette. 